Hi everybody. So this is a quick video explaining about last night in my YouTube, or not in my YouTube, but in my Telegram channel, we had a small issue. This issue was with the minor that was in the group. And as much as I would love to have my Telegram chat be an open age group, it's not possible because people are posting certain things that even though it's not necessarily illegal, it's very controversial and it could cause, you know, adults issues if there was a minor that's seen this stuff. So in order to rectify and make sure that everybody understands, my Telegram chat is 18 only. You have to be 18 years of old or older to be in that chat. Now, there are ABDO chats out there for all ages. However, I do not currently have one. But I, I, I don't know if I want to start one yet because there's that could get it, it's really gray area, and it, that brings me to the topic of this video. So, the topic of this video is what is illegal and what is not uh, when it comes to furry baby fur art stuff like that because oftentimes I see a lot of people say that it's illegal to have cub porn whereas I agree this should be illegal ah, this should be against the law to have cub porn I do agree with that 110 percent I find cub porn very disturbing and gross and I don't want to see it there's some things you guys don't know Technically, by law, it is not illegal. It is what they consider art. Now, if you have cub porn, which is, in my eyes, just as bad as the real pedophilia, I know there's some people that don't agree with me, um, and I know there'll be some that do, but if you get caught with that, the best thing... A law enforcement officer can do is get what they call a PC statement which is a probable cause statement this probable cause statement will give them access to get a warrant to search your stuff however if they search your stuff and there is no real children or pictures of real children or anything of that nature technically by law there's nothing they can do because what you have is just art but like I said, that gives them the right for a PC statement, which is a probable cause statement, which can lead into a warrant, search warrant and all that. And it, does, it can cause you a lot of problems. So my honest opinion is stay away from it. Don't have it on your computer because I personally wouldn't want to see it. If I see that in any of my chats or if anybody sends me that stuff, that's an automatic block. Sorry. Um, and I understand that to some people that cub porn is not what a lot of people think it is it's to them it's more of they're the child being in that position but to me it's there's no way to really talk about that and make it the right thing now is cub porn the same thing as oh abdl's having sex when in little space it's not um not all baby furs and ABDLs, adult baby diaper lovers, are sexual with with uh, this aspect of their lives. Like for me, it's a lifestyle. I'm asexual. I don't have sex. I have no interest in sex. It's just, for me, it's a way to regress and not have the stress. But there are people out there that this should be just a sexual thing for them. And... The being the little space or little in the sexual thing it's a bdsm kind of play it's to them it's more some of them it's degrading and that's what they they, they like as whereas some it's not so uh there's no real kids ever thought about during that and my sources i cannot say because i talked to these people and got their permission to talk about this and they're the ones that explain this to me and i'm sure there's plenty of other people out there that have different reasons for it but this is just what the people that i've talked to because as i'm asexual with my baby first stuff and it's more of a lifestyle than a fetish like 
for me, I am not sexual. There's no sexual gratification from this. It's just being uh, little is, helps me deal with the traumatic past I had and all that. So I, this video is more to get the truth out here. So is it illegal to have cub porn? No, it's not. In the United States, it's just art and all they could do is get a probable cause statement. However, it's very disturbing and it's on a thin gray line. And in my opinion, there are people that are, I'd say there's a higher percentage of people that have cub porn that are into the other stuff, the bad stuff, than there is not. But that's just my personal opinion because I have watched a lot of people that I once looked up to in this fandom go to jail and it's all derogatory of that. But I do have friends that I know for a fact they're into the sexual fetish side of it and, you know, they're not into kids. Um, but the thing about it is, is where do I stand? Do I support cub porn? No, I do not. And even my friends that I know have cub porn know I do not support it. I do not wish to see it and I don't associate with them personally anymore because of it it's nothing against them it's just that's a gray area i don't want to be involved in for those that don't know when i was younger i was raped i was sold into what they call sex uh, slavery by my uncle um this is kind of hard to talk about so sorry if i pause but uh this is why i do not like cub porn this is why I'm not a fan of the sexual side of it. But I want to have this talk because there's so many people that are misinformed on it. And last night's issue, we had people talking about how it's illegal to have for people to see them in a diaper. Technically, it's no different than seeing an underwear model on, or the adults on diapers on TV. So it's technically not illegal. But if you're doing it in a sexual fashion, it is. You know, I do have some law enforcement background. I worked in a jail for a couple years, which everybody's like, oh, well, you're not a cop. Well, that's true. But I, I worked with the same stuff in the set, in a different setting. Like I, I kept people in jail, but I had to know charges because at the jail I worked for, we put in all their charges and everything in the system. So we had to know what we were doing. But uh, like I said, there's a bit about my past. Now you guys know why I don't like talking about my past. Um, my abuse started when I was four. It was, not only was it sexual abuse, there was also physical, like getting beat and stuff like that abuse. Um, so, and it went on until I was 16 years old. And people are like, well, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you stop it if you didn't like it? Well, considering I was four when I started and I didn't have a lot of public you know, interaction with people, even at school, I was the, I was kind of the kid, I, I kind of did my own thing and no one bothered me. And I will say there were times I did come out for help. And unfortunately for me, the help did not come like people thought it did. Um, but yeah, you know, when I was really young, I didn't understand that what was happening was bad to me. That was just the way life was. That's what I was used to. I was so little the time I realized it was bad it was too late because I'm just gonna be honest I was 14 years old before I even knew what the word sex was everything that happened to me before that was I was told was me being a good boy um, me being the perfect boy and that's just the way life was for me so I didn't know and there's a lot of things people don't know about me like uh, I have I have a lot of college degrees that people don't know I have because when even though I was going through all this bad stuff I had I didn't have the public interaction so I was constantly bettering myself in my uncle's eyes he helped me basically see where I needed to be in life and do to get ahead in this world so I do have a lot of things that most people don't now does that does that forgive him for what he did to me no but he did, I would give everything I ever had up to have never went through what I went through. Because, you know, I was a little kid, I didn't know, and, you know, I grew up in a lifestyle and learned ways because 
there's a th there's a theory out there that if you never teach someone something, they're going to go to their basic human inst or animal instincts, which I think I read one time, this was years ago, I read about a guy who put a kid in a room and this kid never had human interaction, but learned certain things and by the time it was all said and done, the kid could not actually talk, walk like a human. They actually walked more like a dog and uh yeah it, it was bad uh it was overseas i know it wasn't in the u.s but i remember reading about it years ago i forget where i read it maybe one of you guys know and you can tell me um but like i said my channel is for all ages my youtube channel is for all ages now there are things i in videos i will be doing that are not for all ages and those will be age restricted and that's just to protect myself and everyone I'm with because, one, we're not into that. We don't want kids seeing certain things. Now, if you're in my Telegram chat or wish to be in my Telegram chat, you're welcome to join as long as you're 18 plus. If you are not 18 plus, you can message me and I will give you the names of the Telegram chats that are for all ages, but just know I'm not associated with them. I only know of them because I have been invited to them and then left on my own accord. Nothing against the people that run those chats. They're, you know, they're probably wonderful people. I just stay away from that stuff because it's too big of a risk and I don't want anybody getting hurt and, you know, I don't want anybody's reputation destroyed on, you know, accusations and lies. But just know cub porn is actually not illegal even though it should be i agree it should be it should be against the law but it's not so just stop sounding like idiots and saying that oh it is when it's not because it, it's all the legal terror it's all the legal issues i mean it's not good that it is i wish it was illegal but it, unfortunately, it's what they consider art. Now, there are countries where it is illegal. Like in Europe, if you have art, you can actually be arrested on the spot. Like I said, I don't know this to be true. Personally, this is just what I was told. Um, now, the stuff with the U.S. I know to be true because, well, I worked in law enforcement and I have talked to some close law enforcement friends of mine and they, they still, they're like me. It should be illegal, but it's not. But I just want people to understand the truth about this stuff. Because being a baby fur or ABDL, you're not a pedophile. Now, are there pedophiles that hide among us? Yes, there is. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There are. What can we do to prevent this? Well, we, we watch out for, you know... I hate, this is going to sound like I'm contradicting myself, but us older furs, we need to watch out for the younger, or us older ABDLs or baby furs, we need to watch out for the younger ones because there's younger ones that will get themselves in trouble and get themselves in a position they don't need to be in very easily because these predators are hiding amongst us and acting like they're these kids' friends. Now, am I saying do you need to go friend these people, these uh, minors? No. But if, like... I found a couple miners in my Telegram chat last, you know, last night and today. I talked to them in private message, which I'm willing to share. You know, name their names being marked out, obviously. But, you know, I explained to them. I said, "Hey, be careful. Do not talk to, you know, an adult or strangers on the internet that you don't know. Don't ever send them photos. Don't ever give them." private information because they don't need that you know watch who you're talking to because you never know there are bad people not only in the baby for an abdl community there's bad people in the fandom there's bad people in this world there's bad officers there's bad priests there's bad ch teachers there's bad any anything in the world there's a bad person there anything that they can use to get to whether it's a child a woman a dude whatever you know Whatever they want in life, there's a bad person in that position. Now, am I saying you got to go around and not trust anybody? No. But if you are a minor, do not trust an adult that you don't know until you, you know, 
you're of age, and then it's that's you use your best judgment. Then um, I still exercise caution because even when I meet new people, someone I meet on the internet is not coming to my house just within a few days. That's not happening. I got to get to know them. I got to do my research. I normally check their Facebook. I check. Uh, Anything I can find out about someone before they ever come to my house. Now, is that being par paranoid or is that being safe? That's being safe because i um, just going to use a group message I had. Or there's an app I use and I got messaged the other day. This person was wanting to hang out and it was all cool. You know, they're local. I was like, okay, well, let's see. Let's talk a little bit and see where it goes. And maybe we'll go meet for dinner or go to catch a movie or something and kind of get to know one another well as we were going on i started suspecting something bad well it turned out this person was actually someone who hates gay people and one of the comments the person had made is all gay faggots should get aids and die i do not support this so i just want you guys to know my standpoint on all this stuff is minors in my chat will not be allowed I may create an all ages chip, but if I do, it would have to be like safe for work stuff, no photos, no nothing. But even then, it's kind of too sketchy for me to mess with. So I'm not saying I will, not saying I won't. Uh, I don't know. It, it's going to take some time to think about and really consider all the what could happen. Because that's the thing about me. I always look at the worst case scenario and what the best case scenario is. And I kind of look at them and weigh my options before I do anything. Just like this video, I, 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 I did not sleep well last night because of the whole issue in the chat kept me up. So I had to really think about how I wanted to do this video. That's why it's recorded, not live, because honestly, I'm, I'm very unsettled about how some people in the chat reacted last night over it. It's like, like I tell people, it, things like that should be brought to the admin's attention and not made into a big public display because... There's things I didn't know. There's things other people didn't know. So, unfortunately, we were able to get the miner out of the chat and a few other miners and get them in a another chat. They're in another chat that has nothing to do with me. Um, this other chat allows all ages, so they, they can go there and, and, you know, talk to people. Now, if you are a miner and you're watching my channel, I still okay with you watching my channel you're still able to win anything we give away just know if you win uh you know i don't know how that's going to work because you can win like i guess there's some prizes you can you can't win just because of the nature of the prize i don't know we'll figure this stuff out later i, I still got a lot of thinking to do as you guys can tell um because this channel is a safe for work channel. This is just to explain the truth about baby furs, which is not a fetish. This is the this channel is based on the lifestyle of the baby fur community. And uh, if I get to where I'm posting things that are adult, like I said, it will be restricted. You guys will not be allowed to watch it. Um, that's where this video is going to end because I really don't know what else to say. Uh, if you have questions, concerns, you can comment below or in the description. that will have all my contact info. Message me. And we'll see what we can figure out. Uh, but far as everything else goes, no, there is not going to be minors in my Telegram chat. Uh, unfortunately, I can't stop minors from watching this because it is public channel and is safe and you know this channel is also to get the truth out there so maybe because you know as us adults know that are in the baby fur community we were all minors at one time and we all still had these feelings so we got to keep that in mind too so some of this outlet may be something that can help someone that may think they're a bad person and do something bad keep from doing that because i you know i did have one minor that has never made it to the Telegram chat. They messaged me from here privately. They they told me their story, which I'm just going to go ahead and put it in here at the end of this. Sorry. But this miner told me their story about 
how they were ready to kill themselves, and that's no joke. This miner was ready to commit suicide because he felt like he was alone. And there was no one like him out there. He felt like he was a pedophile. He felt like he was bad. Everybody made him out to be a bad thing. And then after talking to him, I found this all out. Fortunately, I was able to talk him down from doing something bad. And I did do something I don't normally do. I did contact this kid's parents, had a talk with them. They got him some help for the suicidal part. Uh, they also support him being a baby fur. Now, they won't allow him to wear diapers in the house and all that, but they do support all that. And I, like I said, I would never contact anyone's parents, but I felt this kid's life was truly in danger. And that's why I did it. And, you know, the kid's doing better. I've talked to him since once or twice, so he's doing better, which makes me feel good because that's what this channel is. It's here to help you guys meet other people like you. It's here to keep people happy and connected and hopefully get the people that don't know what we are informed and the haters well at least they can they're they, they're informed haters now so if they still hate us after being informed well that's their problem not ours so have a wonderful day guys bye bye and please hit the like button subscribe and bell notification also in the description below will be um my contact info also i'm on xbox one if anybody wants to play games i'll be playing gta the rest of the day today and i do play gta and call of duty 4 right now um and other games so i love you all have a wonderful day and let's just stay happy and hopefully we won't have any more issues in the telegram chat